the forehead of your robot. I'm not really in the mood to tell this story, because most of the stories people tell are usually fake and for attention. But I feel for the safety of other users, I should tell it. It was around 8.35 on a Friday. I had just finished my homework, and was eager to do something on Roblox, since I had been bored straight for three days, and had everything important done for the week. I turned on my computer, and began browsing Roblox myth groups, particularly the ones filled with people who want to be noticed by YouTubers. I laughed at the sight of a few with bad grammar. Actually, never mind. It wasn't a few, it was the whole lot of them. Anyway, I had hit the seventh page of it, when I noticed a user named, Rontanian. Unfortunately for me, later I began to wish I had not noticed, for my ignorance would have been true bliss. His avatar was white on the arms and head, with a grey shirt and blue pants, mainly the avatar of a 2011 user. His comment was something in what I assumed to be in French, although nothing came up when I tried to translate it. I clicked on his profile, and my computer froze for about 5 seconds on a white screen, with two black dots on the top left. His bio said, Jidu Sesam, meaning, Divided We Stand, in Finnish. I supposed he must be a native speaker of several European languages. I checked out his games, he had two, primarily, The Place of Immortal Despair, and, The Crimson Realm. The first one was just a statue with people, similar to the place of bodies here. The statue was wearing a crown, and was holding a cane while the people saluted him. I noticed the bottom of the map showed the same statue pointing at the people, which were instead corpses, as opposed to their living counterparts. There was a small shack with a picture in it, which I could not see from a distance as it was too blurry for my eyes to make out. The next game included Rontanian, standing in a red place with a red sky, and a cross in front of him. His head was down, and what I assumed to be Smith called putting his arm to comfort him. This led me to instantly assume that he was a wannabe like everyone else, because Smith Cult is just a famous myth that started the whole cult family conspiracy or whatever anybody can call it. But, boy oh boy, was I wrong about him being fake. I left the game so I could play Arsenal, one of my favorite games. I was dominating the entire server, with people giving me mean messages claiming I was hacking, when in fact I had irritated their egos. I had been playing the server for about 20 minutes, before my game froze with a buzzing sound, coupled with the looping sounds of the weapons. I almost fell out of my chair at the sound, and quickly turned off my audio, before Roblox crashed with a message containing the words, Jidu Sesam, but in a font I had never seen before. It was unusual for Roblox to crash, since I had my internet fixed a week ago, and I was on my new high quality 1080 pixel PC. I got back on, and noticed I had a message in my inbox, from Rontanian. The message was in Swedish this time, and was just repeating the word, inequality, over and over again. When I went back to my profile, my avatar was the same as Rontanian's, but with a black head. The sigh of the claimed. My favorites were full of games with random jumbled text, as if someone had slammed their hands onto their keyboards repeatedly in a gesture of intense anger. I still had my 137 friends, but they were all just duplicates of Rontanian, not one spared. I noticed a new game in my recently played games, it was simply called, Home. I joined it hesitantly, and it was a house made in incredible detail, something that would have taken months to create if done alone. I walked around, exploring in both wonder and fear. Every room seemed to become more and more dilapidated, to the point where there was grass and mold on every surface, the air reeking of decay and fungal spores. I decided to turn around and go back the way I came, when I saw Rontanian standing to my right, staring at me with an otherworldly look. His name wasn't on the bar in the top right, and his eyes contained almost a million forming colors overlapping each other, moving around as if he was a celestial god, and not just a Roblox character. As I stood there looking at him, he suddenly approached me with a burst of speed in a very unusual animation, as if he was trying to mimic an octopus, a cat, and a human at the same time, resulting in his limbs chaotically convulsing. 
when he crashed into my character, various images began popping up on my screen, some of which I recognized from weird YouTube videos, or just plainly strange images on the internet. Others were extremely disturbing, and even terrifying at some points. My computer froze at one last image before it crashed, the tension causing my heart to bounce around inside my body, attempting to escape. It was a picture of a rotting corpse, sitting cross-legged in a room that looked similar to the one I had just seen a few seconds earlier, the shriveled skull grinning indefinitely. The same words of Jiduceism were above him in a font that looked like the Cyrillic script, but without any detail. I'm surprised I was even able to know what it said at all, let alone remember it. After this predicament, I was sent to the Your PC ran into a problem screen. When it was done, I got back onto the Roblox player and everything was back to normal, for now. My avatar was back to normal and the message had disappeared, along with the games I played. Almost as if the whole thing had played out in my head, like it had never happened at all. My Wi-Fi acted up a bit after that, but it resumed working after I restarted my router, giving me room for a sigh of relief. I haven't experienced anything like this again, and my computer is just fine. But rarely, I swear I can still see Rontanian in the corner of my screen, gazing at me through the screen itself.